Okay, we're here, we're here, we're here, we're filming. Oh my gosh, hello you guys. It is your girl Anastasia Mariah and I am back with another video. In today's video, I am gonna be testing out the new One Size Beauty by Patrick Starr, some of his new products, newer products that have came out. So, so far prior to today's video, I only tried the One Size Concealer. It's the Turn Up The Base Butter Silk Concealer and I also have the one size setting powder. So I have the two colors, the translucent, and then the deep dark is the two that I have. And I also have another two set of the minis as well for them. Uh, outside of that, I've purchased the one size Secure the Blur Makeup Magnet Primer. I've also purchased the one size On Till Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. I got a little one, but this is the regular size of the primer. Um, I also purchased the Made for Shade Bronze and Sculpt Trio, and I got the shade, it's on the box. Let me mention that this video I attempted to film last night, I uh, had to do some tweaking. I didn't really like, I love the overall look but the camera picks up so much detail girl I was like uh -uh, I'm not gonna put that out there for y'all but this is the darkest one so this is the deep trio and then I got one of the blush trios as well this is the fire starter so it's called the cheat clapper 3d blush trio this is again fire starter and this is called the made for shade bronze and sculpt trio and this is then the shade deep so i have a bunch of few a uh, bunch of new things i don't have all of his complexion products of course um of course he hasn't made them yet but i didn't get like the bomb but i did recently get the kvd good apple skin perfecting foundation bomb I got tan 76 this specific color was sold out for so long at Ulta and Sephora it may have slipped my mind for even a few months and then I thought about it again and I'm like dude I still want to try it yesterday's video when I filmed using these products not all of them in my opinion go well together and on my skin during this time so I used the mattifying primer all over my face but I still should have used something moisturizing on the outside and then in the t-zone so it's just certain things that I should have still done still did or whatever in my normal like skincare routine we're gonna go ahead and use all of the items that I have that are new and I'm gonna let you guys know how I feel along the way we're not gonna do a big old talk through at the end or anything like that because I just noticed that takes up too much time um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of any extra fur on my mustache and then we'll go ahead and get started okay and we're gonna do everything up to sunscreen because I've already moisturized my face and I have a new sunscreen as well so I'll be right back and we'll go ahead and get into it okay I'm back so I had to go ahead and you know um, use my little razor on my mustache because I could see the texture when I played back the footage yesterday and I was like mm -mm, it's not giving okay so my face is moisturized um, but recently I did also purchase a new sunscreen so this is the black girl sunscreen but this is the make it matte sunscreen gel for the face it has broad broad spectrum 45 ultra sheer fragrance free water resistant for 80 minutes so this is the matte one I just wanted to try it I don't know if you guys know because I'm so inconsistent and I apologize about my inconsistency working on it and I'm going to show you guys the new addition to the family she's so cute so I live in Florida Jacksonville Florida to be exact so you guys might have seen us on 60 minutes but yes this is the sunscreen here it's in a cute little black bottle with a gold lid and I'm just going to go ahead and put a good amount all over my face and I just want to see if it's I'm gonna give it a good shake too because you never know I mean even if they don't say shake I shake them we're just gonna squeeze some out Ooh, maybe squeeze a little too much you can never have too much sunscreen right oh I shook it up but I kind of like the texture still like it's in between like a flowy kind of jelly and I'm putting sunscreen on because I am gonna leave the house at some point today with my girlfriend so so far I'm really liking this it's like a soft matte it's not super matte my face doesn't feel you know any type of rough or anything like that so that's a plus for me filming yesterday I realized like yeah the rest of your face still needs moisture sis and then you can do the t-zone <laughs> with the mattifying so I have two primers today the elf power grip 
primer. I bought this maybe a month and a half ago. I haven't used it yet. I was going to make a dedicated video for it, but I didn't get around to it, of course. I'm going to do this all over my face and then the Secure the Blur Makeup Magnet Primer in my T-Zone. Let me do the Secure the Blur first in my T-Zone because I'm going to spread that out with the brush. So I'm going to put some here, here, here. Okay, and a little bit here, and that's it. Nothing else is going on the remaining portions of my face. I don't even know if I want this under my eyes, but I'm gonna put it under my eyes because I still do end up having oil break through there. But I think um, for the fact that the concealer is so also so fucking matte, what I'm gonna do is use a hydrating concealer first and then go on top for brightening with the one size concealer. So that blended out good and it might be best to use a brush. And then we're gonna use the e.l.f. on the outside portion. So I'm gonna use my hand on that. I have the still uh, plenty of the Jelly Pop one. I'm just gonna pat this on. I have sunscreen on, so I didn't want to rub it in too much. Cause sometimes, you know, the sunscreens will make your primers like ball up. And I'm not sure what the actual like combination of <laughs> ingredients are that cause that to happen. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pat it in, pat it in. I know I put a little bit of the one size on my forehead too. It's definitely giving the grip. My next step in my normal routine is to go ahead and color correct any areas that are dark. So I'm gonna go in with my Revolution Conceal and Define in C16. Just to save on brushes, we're just gonna use the same brush that we used to blend out the one size primer because this is also a matte this dries down matte so i'm not too concerned and even though i have like combination skin during the summertime of course it gets way more oily but it's still never going to be i never have an oily skin type i always have like dry combination or combination skin i still like to mix hydrating products with mattifying products it just does well for me even though i know the good apple from what i've seen like on reviews and stuff it's really really full coverage i'm gonna still always color correct and that's supposed to be mattifying too but because it's a cream balm it's gonna bring back some moisture to my skin also boom okay so now we're gonna go on to the first new product which is the kvd <laughs> good apple and again i got the shade tan 76 which i've never really gotten anything that's in the tan category i don't think like i'm very surprised like ooh, girl i'm tan <laughs> stop it so i'm gonna bring you guys in okay and i do know enough not to go in too heavy with this balm here so this is shade tan 076 I think it's still gonna go great. I watch Too Much Mouth and Too Much Mouth is my shade twin on YouTube. And if it works for her, I'm confident it will work for me. Um, I have a new brush from Real Techniques. It's the Seamless Complexion Brush. I'll take it out. And I know you guys have seen this brush and I know it's nothing new, but it's that curved one. Nova, I wish you keep farting y'all. My little girl there can blow, okay? So this is the Real Technique Seamless Complexion Brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of the KVD. I know people usually do a swirl. God, did I do too much? Oh my God, let's see. And excuse the lace, ignore it. Just pretend like you don't even see it, okay? First of all, this brush is giving very much smooth, but this color, this coverage, Bitch, I hardly even. Oh, wow. And I see why it was sold the fuck out. I know Kat Von D didn't want nothing to do with this shit no more, but girl, whoever is running KVD now, <laughs> I don't think she came up with this. And I'm doing the lightest of dips, you guys, like, seriously. Because 
I know that stuff like this can get real cakey real fast. I love the color match too. It looks really good. What you think? Oh yeah. Yeah. I uh I don't even have nothing to say. Like I don't even know what to say to that. That that looks really freaking good and I'm really freaking excited. Period. So I'm going into the Juvia's Place number two as my contour. I decided to just do a little darker contour this time. I'm not gonna put any directly on my uh, forehead though. I'm just gonna take whatever's left for the bridge of my nose. So we're going in with my Sephora 204 brush and we're just gonna blend out that concealer because we are using a liquid concealer. So, and this is matte by Juvia's Place. Like this is a matte concealer. Um, so it can dry down pretty fast. And with the concealer, I'll be able to, um, the brightening concealer, I'll be able to clean up. And I'm just taking whatever's left and kind of going over the perimeters of my hairline, but I haven't added anything extra. So don't let this muddy appearance right here bother you, okay? Because we're gonna go ahead and clean that up. So again, that's all that we're gonna do right now. We're gonna take the first concealer, which for concealer, I'm gonna, the first concealer is not the one size one. We're gonna be using the Dior Forever Skin Correct and the shade 5N. <laughs> And I'm choosing to do this one first because it's hydrating. Um, and the Patrick Star one, you have to blend out really quickly. And so that one makes me nervous to do it. And I'm filming this a second time. So I'm like, uh-uh, we gonna, we gonna make sure. All of this gets blended out and it, we want it to look seamless this time. So we're gonna go ahead and blend that out. I'm using my, um, I think this is the real technique. This is not the Juno & Co. That sponge you can use dry or wet. I know they have the powder one that's pink and you can use that one dry or wet. I also use that to blend out my concealers. But this is the blue one. I forgot what it's called, but it's a new one. It's the newer like microfiber sponge from Real Techniques. That's what this is. We got a good base now for the other concealer. So I feel a little better because we brought moisture back to the skin. We'll probably just bronze the nose and stuff with the powder once we get there. All right, now with this concealer, we're gonna move, we have to move pretty fast. And I also, you wanna use a light hand. And because we're just using this for brightening purposes, I'm only gonna put some on the inner portion of my eye, but not too close to, you don't wanna put this too close to your actual under eye because blending that out can be a mess because of how quickly it dries. We're gonna put a little bit here, a little bit in the center, and a little bit down our nose. But this time, I'm gonna spray. And I'm not spraying with his setting, his setting mist because it's mattifying. I'm gonna use actually this Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh. It's up to eight hours of hydration, but I'm using this really because I wanna make sure that when I'm blending his concealer, because it's so matte so fast, that it doesn't tug. Cause that's what it was doing yesterday. And then we're gonna go in with this side of the sponge, the one that kinda has no product. Right now I'm just going in with the same foundation brush. Um, I didn't add any extra product. I'm just going in between the areas where I place the contour and the concealer. This overall looks so much better than it looked last night because there's still some you know, moisture in my skin. Uh, looks so good. But before I move on to setting, we're gonna go ahead and um, use the cream blush that's in this blush trio so i thought patrick was really smart when he came up with this first of all he has this little area for you girls who have nails like myself he makes it very easy for us to be able to open this okay then when you open it you get a cream okay 
we get a cream and it has this cute little oh no i dug my finger in it this cute little cover for it so none of the powders get into it the cream is very pigmented so you guys are going to see that and then you can top it this right here I typically wouldn't even go for it, but I, when I was using it yesterday, you guys, it's so beautiful. So I'm gonna show you guys using all three. Um, so I'm gonna use the cream first before I get into setting my face. I'm just taking my blush brush, and this is from, I think, Winky Lux? Oh no, Sonny Kashuk. <laughs> We're just gonna pat it in there, but it is super pigmented, so this might be enough for both cheeks, to be honest. And I'm sorry if the lighting is changing. It looks like it's gonna be raining soon now. So I might need to cut on a light for you guys. But look at that cream blush. And I'm telling you, I'm going in with the lightest hand. I'm still going in and like tapping it in. So now that we have the cream on, you guys can see that the cream is on. We didn't want to overdo it because we still have the powder. So we're just gonna go ahead and make sure that our under eyes are blended out. And we're gonna first use his um, one size translucent setting powder because I just wanna set under these eyes. You really don't have to. It's a matte concealer, but I did use the Dior underneath, which is not. <laughs> hey, mama, you wanna say hey to them? Let me show y'all Nova. I got a new puppy for my birthday. Um, I turned 31 on um, March 22nd and I was gonna have like a little birthday party gathering dinner and get a limo and my girlfriend was gonna do all that for me but I got really nervous because I've never had anything like that done so I wasn't ready and so she ends up recommending let's go look at puppies because I always wanted I always wanted like a French Bulldog, but they're so expensive and I never thought I would be able to get one. And so I always wanted a French Blue Nose, French Bulldog. And so I got her and her name is Nova. Nova Presley. Say hey to, say hey to the people, Novi. Can you see in the camera? No? Okay. But she's in here with me, guys. She's four months. Her birthday is December 11th. She just turned four months. And she is a ball of energy. Okay? I tell you that much. We're going to go ahead and set the remaining portions of our face. Deep, dark. One size powder. Which is, this powder is really, really good. I didn't get his, like, pressed foundation powders because I thought about it. Right, so now that we have our whole base set, we can go ahead and we can get into the parts that I love the most. Nova, no mama. <sighs> so far, it's turning out great and I'm really excited. So the cream is called Petty. The middle powder is called GTFO, so get the fuck out. And then pop off is the topper. Okay, so I'm gonna be using the middle one. Look how much came out on that one. I'm so nervous. Let me add a little bit of the setting powder because I brought it up a little too high on this side. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little wee smidge here. Hopefully it doesn't look too bad on camera. So we've done the powder blush and we've done the cream blush so far. We have not made it to the topper. Now the Made for Shade Bronze and Sculpt Trio in the shade Deep, I thought was gonna be like too dark for me. I thought it was gonna be, I thought it was gonna do the one that's, I think it's called dark, this is deep, but because he said that it's made with the neutral, the warm, and the cool. And I used the neutral last night when I was filming because I didn't know how dark it would be and the neutral is perfect. So who knows what the warm and the cool will even look like. But I'm just gonna go in with the same one that I chose yesterday, which was the neutral. And we're gonna bronze. We're gonna use the angled side 
I use the liquid concealer contour from Juvia's Place with this one. So I'm just gonna use the napkin and wipe some of it off. And I learned this new thing that when you're bronzing, start from the edge and work your way out because if you go in with too much, it's gonna sit right there on your face. I just feel like this color, the very first color, is gorgeous. Patrick, now, <laughs> I'm gonna have to sign up for one of his goddamn auditions to be on his goddamn, his next campaign because I know he takes auditions. This bronzer is giving so much. It's giving like all it needs to give, bitch. Ugh, it's not too warm at all. It's not even too neutral. Like, it's the best neutral shade. Ugh, just gorgeous. I'm just so obsessed. This is like the perfect one to use in the daytime. We're gonna take um, a small brush and run a little bit of it down our nose. We're just gonna go in with a light tap. All right, so. All we need to do now really is like let this stuff sit a little bit and then dust it all off, add the little topper on and then lips. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips, finish my under eye. After it's dust off, we'll just go ahead and finish adding the blush topper. So I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so I am back. As you can see, I went ahead and added some water, so a liner to, a nude liner from Essence to my waterline. I added some mascara primer from Lancome and then some Maybelline mascara to my bottom lashes. I also went ahead and added my lips. So I have Nudist by Beauty Bakery. Yeah, Beauty Bakery. And then I have the Cola liner by Juvia's Place around it. So I'm gonna go ahead and dust off this powder. All right, you guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and head back over to the Firestarter Blush by One Size. We're gonna go ahead and top our makeup. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the, I'm going back to the Sephora 204 brush, but we're gonna use the fluffy end. We do a slight tap. So it's almost like a highlighter, but it's, it's giving a very subtle like highlight to the face. And I love it, it's beautiful. A little bit on my nose, a little bit on my cupid's bow. That's not my cupid's bow. I don't know what that is, the bridge. I'm gonna put a little bit on the cupid's bow right here and on the chin. But I think that that little cheek topper is the truth, bitch. Like, it's giving. It's giving everything it's supposed to give. Like for real. No one wanna get out of my room, my beauty room so bad. Like it's fun in here. She be watching TV, it's just not on right now. Last but not least, we have the One Size On Till Dawn Mattif Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. We're just gonna shake this up. We're gonna do a fine mist on the face. So let's get it. I read online that people didn't like the smell of that one size uh, mattifying setting spray. Um, it said that it smelled like hairspray or whatever, but I actually adore it, so I'm not that person. But overall, as you guys can see, I'm digging it. I don't have no complaints. J like honestly, truly, no complaints, none whatsoever. I'm gonna bring you guys out. All right, you guys, so we've made it to the end. I have tried all the products that I've purchased from Patrick Star in one video. A few of them were new. Oh, man. I will say that out of all the items that I now have from his line, I'd say that the Made For Shade Bronzer Trio is my favorite and 
everything else I still love but I love the concealer I love the bronzer and I love the blush trio it's really giving y'all like ugh. the setting spray I don't really know the primer I don't really know until like you know I give it some some time to wear but yeah so this is the overall look and I'll bring you guys in skin is giving the skin is giving excuse the lace like I said but the skin is definitely giving and I'm loving everything loving all of this so definitely want to thank you guys so much for watching if you did like this video please give the video a thumbs up sorry for my whining puppy please give this video a thumbs up share comment subscribe if you have not joined the loaf gang already and i would definitely be seeing you guys in my next video also if you tried any of the one size products that i've mentioned or anything that i didn't mention from one size let me know oh and then the kvd the apple skin perfecting foundation oh it's the truth and i should have been on this a long time ago it just was always sold out in the shade that i wanted and i wasn't settling for anything else absolutely love it love it so I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. Bye.